Hello once again YouTube, Chris and I bring her here bringing you some daisy commentary. This is going to be a video about situational awareness as well as hackers <laughs> and I'll be doing a commentary over some live um, audio reactions and shit like that. So as you can see I'm at Northeast Airfield and just as a precautionary note I you know look through the wall in this little cubby hole to see if there's somebody in there. Uh, the server had just restarted so I didn't actually expect these two people to be climbing through the walls. Uh, in this building so I got the hell out of there obviously um, I'm gonna warn you right now the 90% of this video is trees <laughs> um, so during the entire you know time that this took place there was a lot of gunfire going on all over the airfield and this just lets you know like how fucking crazy this can get how much you don't know at this point you can hear some gunfire going off right now as well as me reacting to it and I was under the impression that the people inside the building, the hackers, were shooting at me. And they couldn't hit me, and I didn't think they could hit me. So I kind of didn't really give a shit that I was still next to this tree, still right next to this building. So, I, you know, I was kind of looking around to see if, you know, they were somehow getting close to me at all, if the bullets were impacting yeah, anywhere close to me. I couldn't see anything. And... This entire time I was under the impression that they had seen me, and it turns out they did not see me at all. They were shooting at two people on the other side of the building. And you can obviously <laughs> tell that they are unloading on these guys. Yeah. They've been shooting, or they were shooting, for almost a minute or two. Um, non-stop, without so reloading, uh, using an M4. And as you can see, I'm doing a little dance because I'm trying to mock them, but turns out that they're not shooting at me at all. So there is mistake number one, assuming that they were even hitting me, or looking in my direction. Now, it's a good thing to assume that they were looking at me, but at the same time, uh, I have to understand that, you know, there were other players in the area. I could have been taken out by somebody that wasn't even hacking at all. Um, now, during this entire time, somebody was shooting a Mosin down to the right, off to the bottom of the field. And I had thought that uh, it was these two people that were standing in front of me now. So, right before I fire my first shot, one of the players moves. And it gives me the impression that somebody else had shot and killed him, or hit him. And it turns out he wasn't dead, so I shot him in the face. <laughs> and then I tried to shoot his buddy, and whoever had shot to the right of me with the Mosin, um, totally uh, knew that I was there now. Uh, I had alerted everyone at this point that I was a threat. And uh, I was in the area with a Mosin. Uh, everyone in the uh, building that was um, that was hacking probably knew that I was in the area now too, because I had just made mine obviously clear that I was a fuck ton closer than whoever else was there. That was my second mistake. Um, I should have stayed quiet. I I expected somebody to walk up on me in these trees. Turns out there was nothing. You know, nobody was going to walk into my, my tree line, although these guys came pretty close to me. Um, I go to check their bodies. It's a dumb idea, but I check them anyway, and it turns out they had absolutely nothing on them. They were not a threat at all, and I totally feel bad about it. I, I did not, I would not have intended to kill them if I hadn't gotten the impression that they were shooting a Mosin rifle off to my right. Um, in the heat of the moment, I just decided that I'd rather take it safe and kill them. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry I killed those guys. So at this point, I make my way back to the, uh, the, uh, jail building, or the camo building, where the, um, the hackers are. And it turns out another hacker must have spawned inside the building with them, that may not have been with their group. And look at, they're still there. <laughs> so I want to point out something. The guy that I'm looking at, is the guy that will eventually confront me, the one with the cowboy hat. And you'll notice he has a Mosin in his hands. That's pretty important later on when he actually fires his gun at me. I don't know if they are capable of actually hitting someone. And this is the point which they see me. And I'll leave the rest to you, uh, the actual real life commentary there. And from what I understand, the wall's still gonna block it, so. Hackers. Fucking hackers. <laughs> I don't like using the word hacker though. It's a bit dirty to me. It sounds like they're f like utterly, utterly like ripping apart this game and like ruining people's lives. I'd rather call them.
Really? Because you're in the wall. What? You're in the wall. Like, I know you're in the wall. Yeah, 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 we know, but dude, there's a lot of guys in there. You might want to get in there. Yeah, I'm not going in there. You also unloaded, like, a full M4 for, like, two minutes. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of people out there. You gotta be really careful. Are you, like, 12? Do you think you're proud for hacking like this? No. Yo, are you are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Oh yeah, look at that. Holy shit, you killed all these guys too? Wow, you must be proud. You did, you fucker. You're in the wall. There is somebody inside the fucking wall, and it's you, because you're the only person in there. There's two people in there. I fucking saw them. Oh, there's four? That's even better. Wow. So at this point, I wanted to see what these dead guys had on them. I ran over, and as soon as I started looking, I heard somebody walk behind me. I turn around, and it turns out the guy had actually managed to get out oh, okay. from behind the wall. And while he was switching his weapons between his Mosin and possibly another gun, <laughs> he suddenly shot me a few times with a 9mm or some other handgun. Um, I was, you know, kind of confused as to why he was able to fire at me while his, you know, hands were being... S while his hands were swapping weapons, but then again, they're hackers. For all I know, they could fucking fly. Um, but there you go. Um, insight into why, you know, situational awareness is a good thing, you know. During this entire... This entire situation, there were people that I was not aware of, there were people I could not see, and uh, I'm not even talking about the hackers themselves, I'm talking about the people behind the building, the people that walked up on me, uh, in front of me, in the field, the people that were shooting the Mosin and the SKS down the airfield and to my right, the entire video. So, you know, just a little bit of um, context, you know, there's a lot more going on sometimes than you realize, and I think that's pretty interesting, I think that's an amazing thing about Daisy is, you know, you cannot know everything about what's going on around you. Like I said, I did not know those people were even behind the building, and there was even a person inside the building that was shot, and I'm assuming the hackers did that, to another hacker. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Sorry about the squeaky chair that you just heard there. I'm gonna go now, uh, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.